set to go here in the fourth quarter. And Ty, I want to ask you the things that make you smile. What numbers to dial? We're going to be here for a while. You're going to call your crew. I'm going to call my crew. We can rendezvous at the faceoff in about two. Conversate for a few, because in a few, we're going to do what we came to do. Ain't that right, Bones? Bones getting after it at the faceoff logo. Doing work. Fourth quarter brought to you by the law offices of Shannon J. Posner. Great ground ball by Mays. Ball out of his stick, flipped high into the air. And handled by Apple. Eric Evans. Apple. I saw the four, I saw the three. Gilman has not won a face off in the second quarter or the third quarter. And they're, they're still up 8-6. Gilman in their home, Whites, Calvert Hall, Road Reds, fourth quarter just getting underway. Johnny Kelly, a little under move shot deflected on its way. Kelly makes a nice play on the man. Bones gets the ball, picks it up off the scoop. And now it's Johnny Bells coming off the pick. Great feed inside, unable to be handled by Fanshawe. Intense pressure by Sims of Gilman. Bones comes up with the scoop. And now we're going to get a push against Gilman. I'm sorry, against Calvert Hall, Gilman possession. I thought it looked to be a Stephen Kelly late hit on Chase Campbell, but the ref selecting not to call that. Yeah, I saw that I, I, in the fourth quarter. I don't know if you could call it. I, yeah. I, you, he could, could have, certainly. With that in mind, Gilman. <laughs> Coaching staff was, wasn't going crazy. It was like a, a middle school table topping. Like <laughs> yep, it, it, yep. There was a Gilman player behind Campbell, and Bones just kind of gave him enough of a little push that he would fall over his own man. And Campbell didn't fall that hard, so I'm going to side with referee Reginald Dwight on that one. Here is Tyler Rule trying to get a step on Evans. Comes out righty. Up top shot, goal. Gilman goal by Chase Whitting, and they are now back up three, nine to six. Great play by Tyler Rule right there. Slamming on the brakes and then finding that through pass where he didn't lob it so high that the defense has a chance to recover. And he doesn't throw it so hard that Whitting is not able to even make the catch. Right now, I see that Calvert Hall offense playing a little bit like a Pink Floyd album. Some really good stuff, but at times you really can't tell where they're coming from. But they've put it together now. Johnny Bell's coming off the wing with the another face-off win for Bones. Bell's doing some work carrying. And Germershaus and Crazy Ivan on the left wing. Campbell doing a nice job containing Jordan Germershausen. Here is Mincer, and you're right, Ty, we haven't seen a lot out of Germershausen, and that is Soup Campbell. Here's Fanshaw. 9.03 to go. Fourth quarter brought to you by the law offices of Shannon J. Posner. We get a off ball moving pick interference. And that is going to give Gilman possession. But this Cardinal Hall ride has been relatively effective today. The law offices of Shannon J. Posner, PA, multi jurisdictional law firm, serving its corporate banking and individual clients in Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania, and the District of Columbia. Excellent legal services and reasonable rates. Contact the firm at 410-472-4000. Shot just wide by Max Green. Another skip pass. Great save, McSorley. Evans spins it all the way over. And it's Michael Lanahan. Lanahan lobs it for 
Jared Eppel. And Eppel flips it to Germer's house. And here's Bones Kelly touching it in the box. Fourth quarter brought to you in part by Campus Title Company. It can assist you in closing your residential or commercial real estate purchase or refinance. It's your choice. Pick Campus Title Company, attorney owned and operated title company in Maryland and Virginia. Campus Title LLC. Bones, shot just wide, backed up by Gilman. A heady play by defender Chase Campbell, and he's having himself a nice afternoon. He's definitely playing like an all Metro player. Good to see Campbell and Barger leading the way for the Hounds defense. It always seems like these guys really, they graduate a good amount, but then they bring those types of players committed to Ohio State and Virginia like those two up through the ranks to get them to really do a good job defensively. And we know they're well coached, you know, having Brooks Matthews and Damian Davis lead the way when it comes to coaching. Two pretty good players in their own right in college. Split dodge on the far side. That's Matthews inside. Feed shot, goal. Spin, shoot, sting the corner, face off. Riley to Smith at the 6.45 mark of the fourth quarter. 10 to six, your score. And Ty, we really do have to start thinking about who's gonna be that Under Armour, underclass elite star of the game. Those Under Armour games, the tryout itself. Go to underarmorlacrosse.com and register now for that tryout. 10 regions of the country, boys and girls. Go to underarmorlacrosse.com to learn how you can be a part of the best recruiting opportunity you'll have all summer long. First face-off win in a long time, and just as I say that, Calvert Hall earns possession back. Johnny Kelly trying to put some momentum together here. Low pass, Bones makes a play on it with his legs, and now we get bodies and flags flying. Ball scooped up, and it'll be Gilman man up with 6.19 to go in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter brought to you in part by the law offices of Shannon J. Posner, a multi-jurisdictional law firm serving its corporate banking and individual clients in Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania, the District of Columbia, excellent legal services and reasonable rates. Contact the firm at 410-472-4000 or just Google the law offices of Shannon J. Posner. I love, love seeing your man Jack King, a rough rider, dig his, you know, get his nose right in there, make that tough play coming off the bench. My man smiling, Jack King. <laughs> Stud. Not the biggest guy by any means, but a ton of heart. <laughs> Jack King, one of those great seniors. And he leads just by high. I mean, he's probably 6'6, six, 6'7, six, six, <laughs> 280 pounds. I think he wrestled heavyweight in the wintertime. Nice play by Germershausen, triple teamed, and we get a timeout on the field. Time to see who's had their motive pure. 5.30 remaining in the fourth quarter. Get some motive pure hydration formula. It is the best product you can get as far as playing your best when your team needs you the most. Steer clear of those products. They're gonna make you all jittery and have a ton of caffeine in them because that is not gonna put you in the best physical condition. Also want to remind you, Campus Title Company can assist you in closing your real estate or commercial real estate purchase or refinance. It is your choice. Pick Campus Title Company, an attorney-owned and operated title company licensed in Maryland and Virginia. Contact Lori at 410-472-4000. I know that I personally had to go through some title issues with my home and 
campus title, got it done in two emails and a phone call. So they know exactly how to handle the situation. Very easy, unbelievably reasonable rates. Great organization, Campus Title Company, LLC. Johnny Kelly's gonna start with possession here, coming out of the timeout. And Calvert Hall needs to grab that momentum. They had a bunch of it in the early third quarter and they made the Gilman defense play long stretches. They don't have that kind of time right now. They kill off the penalty. Johnny Kelly, shot goal! Johnny Kelly driving hard to the cage. 5-10 remaining fourth quarter. 10-7, your score. And you know what I tell you about that goal tie? 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will. 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name Johnny Kelly. So smooth. I don't know if he's a smoother lyricist than you, but uh, on the field, definitely. Well, use the lyricist word. That's why you're a writer, Ty. You got more funk in your bag than people give you credit for. In all those Twitter wars I see you in. <laughs> Oh, shot just fought off by McBride. Germershausen makes the nice catch shot. McBride with another save. Sims with the clear for the Greyhounds. Diagonal pass. That's the least amount of effort Max Green will ever put into a goal. Standing, posing, dunking. 11-7, 433 to go fourth quarter. And Ty, let's start thinking, who's gonna be that Under Armour, underclass, elite star? It's the best event you can try out for. Let's talk about today. I think two guys, uh, definitely Tyler Rule and Max Green. They've combined for six goals this afternoon. But then, you know, you'd be leaving out a guy like Chase Campbell, who's doing a really good job on uh, Germer's house. Love giving credit to those defensemen, so. Davey Previs coming into Bones, and Bones makes quick work of that one. Steven Bones Kelly pass down to Timmy Kelly. Diagonal pass inside, sound the bell. School's in, sucker. Johnny Bells, dunk you very much. Good ball movement. Steven Bones Kelly wins the faceoff, and Johnny Bells in the middle of the club with a rubber dub. 4.22 remaining, and if they can score at that pace, they'll finish with 40 goals. A goal every eight seconds, and they can get to 40. 11-8 year score, 4.22 remaining. Sickness here on CUDA.com. MIAA action, two teams that would love to meet again in the PNC MIAA Championships. And CUDA taking a little step. We're stepping out of the box, Maddie. Stepping, thinking outside the box. We're trying to get permission to do a girls game next week. I'm not going to announce who it is because we may not get the green light. But Ty, we are fighting tooth and nail to cover some girls lacrosse. It's just more hoops to jump through. We would love to be involved with some of the tremendous girl teams that are here in the Baltimore area. Bones Kelly at the face-off logo going up against Davey Previs. Tyler Mays on the wing. Previs makes a quick win. Morrill has it checked away, and here's Epp in a lot of traffic. Ball knocked out of his stick. And now we're gonna get referee Gordon Sumner Referee Gordon Sumner and Reginald Dwight come together and tell me, tweet me at ESPN Booker, who are Reginald Dwight, Gordon Sumner, and Paul Hewson 
And I got a six pack of Skeeter Snacks. Today's Tweet of the Week brought to you by Skeeter Snacks. Get the food line or shop right and get your Skeeter Snacks. Totally nut free, totally delicious. Just ask my man, Matty Cruz. Ty Sanders had some Skeeter Snacks in halftime too. I love those Skeeter Snacks at halftime. I had a Gilman. Probably kid. have some in my face yeah. as well, but you know. I'll tell you, I had a Gilman kid here, because I, I always bring a couple boxes and give them to the fans. And a kid looked at me and said, are they really peanut free? Because I have a peanut allergy. And I said, dude, they don't even allow peanuts to be sold in the snack machines in the factory where the cookies are made. <laughs> 315 to go fourth quarter brought to you by the law offices of Shannon J. Posner. Great save, McSorley, body save. And that's going to be Calvert Hall possession. Hall working hard to get back in this 11-8 year score, a three goal differential. Here's Eppel, has Evans open in the middle of the field, goes to him, and now it's gonna be Mincer. Everybody's on side, everybody's good. Two forty as Johnny Kelly gets it into the box. Shot just over the cage, backed up by Fanshawe. I'm sure Cavern Hall will try and get shots off the stick of Johnny Kelly and Stephen Kelly as those are the two hot hands today. Timmy Kelly rolls behind the cage, shot. Thomas McBride equals it. Great handle on the far side by Andy Matthews. And Apple giving everything Matthews would ever want. Eric Evans will strip on Tyler Rule. Ball picked up by Mays. And now Lanahan looking to get it to the guy coming out of the box. It's Bones Kelly. Johnny Kelly open across the field. Bones now double team sees Johnny and gets it to him. Little transition opportunity. Outside shot. Ball knocked to the ground before it goes, and that is the definition of a loose ball push. Again, it's Calvert Hall's number five, Garrett Christensen. Garrett Christensen's been known to suit up for the Rough Riders as well, my man. The Rough Riders. Coaching them just makes me happy. Hard workers, kids who love having fun and playing together and playing unselfishly. The Maryland Rough Riders with Ross Club. Chase Wittich comes in and Max Green again on the finishing end of a nice ball movement play. Green after not having the best outing on a Friday afternoon with a nice game four goals for the Harvard Bound senior. He does find a way to be in position to finish plays. His third goal, he was standing on the back pipe and that goal just simply cut ball side, made a nice move and a nice finish. Ground ball picked up by Jack Halpert, but now we got trouble in River City. Bodies flying. Halper comes back up with it, and he's going to retreat. Flag flies. It's Bastille Day. Flags everywhere. Taylor Swindell. A little hesitation moving. Now it's up with Peter Brown. Riley DeSmith, as we are at the 30-second mark here, the fourth quarter brought to you by Campus Title LLC. Shot by Green over the cage. And again, 23 seconds remaining, 12 to eight year score. This man up brought to you by RipNet. Go to rip.net and learn how you can register for the free social media goal scoring platform. Free for all iPhone and Android systems. 
and also want to thank the law offices of Shannon J. Poser, multi jurisdictional corporate banking and personal banking. Registered to practice in Virginia, Maryland, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania. Ball picked up by the new goaltender in for Calvert Hall. Great catch by Fanshawe. Fanshawe coming straight down. Great save, McBride. Goaltender there, Brody Bartell, the sophomore, in for the late action. But that will do it from Gilman. 12 to 8, your final score for Dual Cam Productions and Ty Zanders. I'm Booker Corrigan saying thanks for stopping by CUDA.com and checking out another great game of the week as we build towards the PNC MIAA League Championship that'll take place in mid-May. We are at the halfway point of this season and CUDA.com is your home for top lacrosse across the country. CUDA reaching over the 700,000 view mark and we'll probably be over a million after this series of games is watched. We're looking to surpass our total of two million from last year. Again, your final score, 12 to, L 12 to eight Greyhounds. Great matchup, great teams.